I have been Town & Country Foundation's Artist in Residence for the last eight years, really. I've been very fortunate to work with them. And this, among many projects, um, I was, they came to me and said, have you seen the first one? Can you work with a group of veterans and actually create some art that's come from them? So it's veteran-led. And so we found our groups of veterans and we worked with three groups for this exhibition. And that included a group from West Kent who are made up from our core veterans who were part of the very first exhibition there who shared their stories of, tra of transitioning out of the services and then we work with Blind Veterans UK and we work with Stoll which is a, a community of veterans in London to bring together a variety of different views of transition in one gallery space. Originally we knew that we might use the idea of doors because it's such a symbol for transition and that that was a framework we could hang something on and then it was kind of over to how each group then wanted to work with it. So I went to each group and said, well, what would you like to do with that? When I got to West, the West Kent group, I think um, they had an amazing ideas from start to finish, their attention to detail and their thoughtfulness about how they wanted to portray their stories, not just their own, although it's rooted in their own personal stories, but how that translates across the board to those guys and girls who are coming out of service and the experiences they know people have, sh have experienced and shared, I think was, it was, they knew exactly what they wanted to say. So they've been a dream to work with because they knew exactly that they wanted to have the front, which was very, very much about entering the service and what it's like and what this means. And then as you go in, how that then progresses into various exit routes, which may or may not be by choice. I think for somebody leaving the services, they may feel because that's their choice, that's an easier thing to deal with. Um, whereas if it's perhaps been imposed due to redundancy or you have been injured in the field or in, in exercise or during the course of service in some form or another, or your mental health has deteriorated due to that service, then those don't feel so much like decisions you've had control over. And I think it, it must be incredibly difficult to come to terms with the fact that what is ultimately a family set up, a very big family, is suddenly no longer there. There's a lot of support that suddenly is no longer part of your life. And I think, you know, you, you talk to the guys and they talk about how much they wanted to go into the services, they couldn't wait. And that's all they've ever wanted to do. To have that not able to carry on with that is, must be absolutely you know, an awful thing to go through. So working with them to be able to express that in some form or another using the metaphor of doors, that's what they've come up with. And I think they've done the most powerful um, creative work that actually does give people an insight into some of the things they and others like them have experienced and are going to continue to be experiencing with the waves of uh, redundancies coming up and with things like you know, Afghanistan continuing at the moment for a little while longer, we're going to see more of it. And I think it's the youngsters coming out, what they come to, what support needs to be in place to help people who've been prepared to serve their country adjust back into civilian life. Working with them has been an absolute joy. They've been uh, highly challenging because they're very, very driven and they're very precise. And art has an evolutionary process to it, which isn't always about being precisely what you think of in the first instance. So it's been most fun and a lot very good-humoured, but also very driven in creating something very ambitious in a small amount of time with military precision, <laughs> um, which has been, you know, I've really learnt loads from them and they've been so um, committed to it that, and dedicated dedicated and have turned up with brilliant new ideas and enthusiasm every single session that it's just been a joy to work with them. They're amazing guys, very inspiring. Really, seeing believing, you need to come down and, and enjoy having a look really at the work they've produced. It's been great fun working with them and it has a real heart and a real message. There is also a chance to get involved. We have uh, a third exhibition which is scheduled for autumn 2014 and is in line with the centenary, obviously, of the start of the First World War. And that will include working with the current veterans and extending out to working with other veterans who want to come and join in the Two Worlds project. Um, it's going to look at uh, memories and it might be of somebody who's in service now, somebody who was in service, somebody who's in service in the First World War. It could be a family member, it could be yourself, it could be somebody. It's any memories of service in any way and the exhibition will be curated from objects and memories about that. Um, if you'd like to get involved, if you're a, um, a veteran and want to come join us, the web address is www.fromservice2civystreet.org.uk. Do have a look and come and join us.